Hi, I'm Penny Bowden. I'm the crazy cat artist and this is Rosie. Today I want to show you some simple tips for drawing cat bodies. And there's going to be lots more videos coming up too. I've got all kinds of ideas. So if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like the video, and at, ten, at any time during my process, please feel free to ask questions. I love answering questions. If you ask me a question, I will do my best to answer it for you. Okay, so kitty cat. We're going to do a sitting cat here. So I always, well, not always, but usually start with a round circle for the head for a simple drawing like this anyways. Heads aren't always totally round, but we can tweak it after if we're going to carry this drawing further. We just want to get the idea down the simple shapes. Um, so we're just we're just going for simple shapes here and so I've got the head and I, I'm looking at those lines that go from the head down to the paws now and just you know again I'm not I'm not going all perfect on them I'm not trying to get them exact you know I'm not going for every little dip and curve in the lines I'm just getting some nice fluid lines down there so what part of the world do you live in I would love to hear I I live in on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. So tell me where you where you live. That'd be great. Tell me in the comments. Oh, I usually like to get the ears in fairly quick when I'm drawing cats because you know then I feel like I'm drawing a cat, and the ears can actually help guide me a bit. See, I'm not. I'm kind of my hands at an awkward angle, so I'm messing up a little here. You get to watch me mess up because believe me, I mess up plenty. And I think it's good that you get to watch me mess up because I want to show you that artists are human and we all mess up, but we keep going anyways. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think I'm going to get the paws in next. And what I, what I do usually with the paws, especially in a drawing like this, is the paws are dependent on when where the cat ends at the bottom of the page. So I like to trust my gut, my intuition to tell me where they are. What I do is I kind of hover my pencil around and I just decide, you know, where it feels right for the paws to be. This is way too far down here. This is too far up here. You know, I'm just feeling that they're about here. And take, you know, take a few seconds. Just let your intuition kick in. If you're not used to doing this kind of thing, um, it will be awkward, but you'll get better with practice. Just keep it up. So I measured earlier and I found that it was about three heads from from the top of the head to the top of the paws. So let's see, two, three. Oh, I can go down a little bit further. Don't always get it right the first time, but you you know you can patch things up, and that's the whole idea of of this drawing stage. That being said, they would have been okay where I left them too. You know, the cat might have been just slouched a little bit more. Um, let's see. So I'm going to get the muzzle in next. All these kind of things help line features up. And these would be some lines for eyes too. I often put in lines for eyes and then my eyes would fit right in there. And I'm not going to go real far in detail into eyes this time because this is a body drawing class and I, I plan to do one that focuses just on faces soon so I'll save that kind of thing for there. Right now I just want to get you some ideas for how to draw bodies. So what I'm seeing is this is if I come down from the corner of this eye here which would be about here and I go swoop that's going to be where this body shape starts. Look for those connecting lines and then for the top one it, the nose would be about here and it, when I say top, I mean that this one sticks out farther in the top. So, you know, I'm just getting that shape in there. And it, it's, it's different on each side. You can, you know, some people, when they do simple cat drawings, they put it the same on each side, which is fine. It depends on your style. Um, but I like the interest of, you know, kind of getting a little bit of accuracy here. And then we'll get those back paws in. They're kind of peeking out here in the back and you know this would kind of be where the where the body ends at the bottom a little bit like that maybe i am working in a gray conte crayon i normally like to work with cheap promotional ballpoint pens 
they're great for drawing but the problem is they don't show up real well in video so and I want you to be able to see so I'm just gonna you know get that spot where the legs kind of tuck into the body and again I'm getting the feel for that here too it's just below here on this side and you know it's kind of like that they kind of tuck in and and then the legs carry on down here and you'll notice this is a really rough drawing and that's okay because it's a learning drawing and you can take this drawing in whatever you direction you want after it can be the basis for your masterpiece you can just finish it as a sketch you can just leave it basic like this and move on to another one and your next one will probably be even better Just kind of the way it works because practice makes perfect that tail there's an angle from the ear to the tip of the tail that goes about like this so you know we're gonna end right about there and I just like to get that tail in in just a quick a quick gesture stroke don't fuss over it too much and in this stage of the drawing you're gonna see that beautiful beautiful impressionism that is easy to lose if you overdo it so you know let's just add a bit to this just to get some caddishness but we're not going to take it too far because i just want to you know show you what i do and send you off to do something yourself and i love to see what you do you actually can join our group on facebook it is called cat drawing art workshop and the link is right in the description of this video so you are welcome to join us if you are passionate about drawing cats and there's more to come it's a very supportive group too the people are so supportive of each other people post their art and help each other with it and and pump up those less confident artists and show them that their work is a lot more beautiful than they think so I hope you got something you can use right away from that video. Go give it a try. You will do awesome. Again, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like the video, and feel free to ask any questions about my process or anything about drawing cats. You'll do great. Feel free to join our Facebook book group. You'll find the link for that group in the description. See you next time. Say bye, Rosie.